up everybody, I'm back and the music is too. Every brewery you go to, they got loud music. No, it's not that loud, but I just happen to be right next to it. So anyways, I'm at Four Corners Brewing Company here in Dallas and um, these guys are under the Constellation umbrella. That's the same umbrella that owns Ballast Point Brewing Company. So it's a good umbrella to be under. And uh, so far the place looks really super cool. I like all these crazy lamps they got over here. Check this out. Pretty cool looking, isn't it? All right, so we got four beers on our flight that we're gonna do today, and I'm gonna be starting with, uh, what's this first one? It's called El Chingon. Now, this is one of their IPAs that, uh, it's one of their most popular IPAs, and it's uh, distributed all over Texas. All right, so we got El Chingon right here. Check this out, let's give it a little, little sniff. Yeah, you get some hop aroma on there for sure. I can't really tell what kind of hops though because these tasting glasses aren't, aren't really designed for smelling the best aromas. Let's give it a try. Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah, you get a strong bite up front. That is a really nice classic IPA. Mm. It's got a really nice balance to it, so you don't get a ton of floral, citrus, or spicy hops. It's just some really good, clean, refreshing bitterness on it and uh, a really nice, light body. So uh, not a heavy multi-IPA, just uh, real clean, real refreshing. Mm. And a nice, strong bite. It's good stuff. All right, so next in the lineup is El Super B. Now, this is a Saison that they brew here in the house. Let's go ahead and let's give this one a try. Oh, that's real good. Mm. You get kind of this like silky honey texture on it. You get that uh, that nice tang up front that's real characteristic of a Saison. And then um, a lot of just like, mm. a lot of really nice citrus zest on it. Really good, really light in body. 8% ABV, can't really tell though. I mean, that's kind of high I feel like, but. You don't taste alcohol at all on that one. It's, it's really nice, really clean, really, really refreshing. That's good stuff. Mm. Saison. All right, next up is La Lacusa. Now this is sort of uh, an homage to Mexican style cervezas and uh, Texas campfires, I guess. Uh, it's what they said on the tasting notes. So let me give it a little smell. No campfire on the smell. Ooh, you get a little cinnamon. Oh wow, that's interesting. Wow, it's got a nice little dark color to it. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's really malt forward and it's got it's got a touch of cinnamon to it. Not like, you know, biting into a cinnamon stick or anything, but um, it's like the essence of cinnamon. Really, really interesting. I don't think I've had something like that before. Wow, it's really good. I mean, that's like, that's like fall in a bottle right there. That's lovely, wow. And you know, the malt forwardness, it, it's not like an overly sweet malt forwardness. You just, you just get a real nice malt flavor, like a malted beer. And, but that touch of cinnamon just kind of puts it over the edge. I mean, it's really nice, really fun. Okay, so the last one in our flight is called Celebration. It is a Belgian dark strong ale. And they say that they brew this with fresh ginger. So let's give this a try. Wow. Wow. So the cinnamon on the last one and then the ginger on this one, I mean, it's really good. What I love about it is that the ginger doesn't overpower the beer. So it's not like you're drinking a ginger beer, if you've ever had one of those. Um, you're just getting sort of, again, the essence of ginger on top of a Belgian strong, which is a very, you know, heavy body, very silky, smooth, uh, dark ale. And it's just, it just tastes really fresh, really clean. Mmm. Wow. Really just like incredibly delicious. like. You want to keep drinking it, which is good, but be careful because what do we got here? All right, 7.8% alcohol, so you know it's not that bad, but uh, 
and you don't get any hops at all on this. It's just a really nice classic Belgian dark. But that ginger, man, that's, that's good. That's real good. If you guys are down here in Dallas, Texas, you gotta check out Four Corners, man. They are doing some awesome stuff. Okay, so music got super loud. So by the time I got done trying all those beers, came out here, uh, wanted to at least sign off. Uh, these guys are doing some really awesome stuff. I'm out here in the dark, but let me tell you, their beers are just absolutely off the chain. They got some really great things they're doing. Um, beautiful location. So if you guys are in Dallas, make sure you definitely check them out. Four Corners Brewing Company. Pretty unbelievable how great their beers are. Check them out.